since we are in the topic of plotting, it's important to take a moment and uh, talk about the line weight. Now, the line weight is the s thickness of the line, so when it's plotted or printed out. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at uh, how we can set the line. On my screen, uh, I've got a mechanical drawing, which is uh, finished, but uh, before printing, I want to take a look at the layers manager here, layers properties manager. And if you take a look here, all the layers uh, line weight is set to default. Now we typically change the line weight or or we use a heavier line weight uh, when we want to emphasize a part of our drawing. Let me move out of this. Now in this drawing I want our uh, the part of a uh, geometry part of uh, my drawing to be a little thicker when it's printed on paper and uh, the dimensions uh, a little smaller than uh, my geometry part, my geometry lines, and uh, my center lines a little uh, smaller uh, than the dimension parts. So for that I'm going to go to the layers and from there uh, let's click on uh, the uh, trigger part to see if we could uh, change the line weight. Now there are many line weights here that we can uh, select one of those and use. Now before changing these let's uh, let's think a little about it and uh, first of all we don't know the default line weight so how do we know that uh, we are picking something heavier or lighter than the default uh, line weight and second of all AutoCAD is uh, based on uh, decimal inches right now so but here these line weights uh, are being shown to me as uh, millimeters so let's before changing these find the answer to those. I'm going to cancel out of this and on my model space I'm going to right click and choose the options. From the options we're going to go to the user preferences tab from there click on this line weight settings button. Now here's our line weight settings dialog box. Now here's the units for lesson and here's our previews. We can change the millimeters to the inches if you want. Uh, we can uh, change these uh, default as we were asking before. Now we know that default is 0.25 millimeters. We can change this to any of these ways that we want. Now I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm not going to change that for now. And now we know that it's uh, 0.25 and uh, sorry in the millimeters I'm not going to change that as well. I'm going to cancel out of this and let's change the uh, line weights that we want to be more emphasized. Let's go to the layer properties manager and now uh, my geometry parts are on three layers. Now to select all those uh, layers once I'm going to press and hold the control button and select the trigger and select the controller and select the buttons and come and uh, click on any one of these defaults line weights and change the line weights now the default was 0.25 uh, we're going to change this to 0.6 millimeters and click OK as we see they have changed now we're going to select the dimensions layers layer I'm going to change this to something smaller than that which is going to be 0 0.2 or 0.2 millimeter I'm going to select okay and for the center lines select the center layer and change that to 0.13 then you click OK now that I change those uh, I want to go and visit the plot dialog box and as you see my plot style table is uh, monochrome that's okay 
and I'm going to select the printer and since I'm not using a physical printer right now I'm going to select the DWG to PDF you can use any printer that's uh, connected to your computer and I'm going to use the NCA paper you can use the letter size paper NCA paper size is going to work for me for now and the plot area is going to be window and select right from here to here great going to center this and from here not going to fit the paper let's select the 101 that's great it's going to work so let's preview this now I'll zoom a little as you see the geometry part is uh, now showing us boulder uh, line and the these lines uh, these uh, dimensions are smaller if you zoom a little more we can see the center lines are smaller than the dimensions and these are going to be printed just like this uh, on paper creative use of line work is a great way to create visual interest and draw attention to a specific part of your drawing 